covering the depth of the subject and in engineering services examination we are more concerning in covering the width of the syllabus civil engineering or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or cs or it or electronics or any of the branch chemical or anything just what you have to do you have to add these six additional subjects their theories their numericals and you are completed with the preparation of esc whenever you are you have completed the chapter you have completed the subject after every chapter you have done gate pyqs you have done esc pyqs hello gw soldiers welcome to this next session on the preparation of esc exam with the running preparation of your gate exam in this session we are going to discuss how you can prepare for engineering services examination syllabus in combination with in conjunction with the preparation of your gate exam first of all myself shobhish rastho i am here civil engineering faculty with more than 10 years experience i have cracked a lot of engineering exams with good ranks so first of all we are going to discuss in this session in the next 10 minutes we are going to discuss that how the engineering services examination esc is different from gate exam in gate exam we are mainly concerned about covering the depth of the subject and in engineering services examination we are more concerning in covering the width of the syllabus and next we are also going to discuss how your running preparation will not be adversely affected including when you are including your esc exam with the gate exam how you can very seamlessly very easily cover the preparation of your esc exam with the running gate exam so these two things we are going to discuss so in this session first of all let me let me discuss with you the first thing let me discuss with you the first thing that what is the difference between what is the difference between gate and esc with regarding to the type of preparation with regarding to the how you prepare for these exams so first of all my dear students let me discuss that gate exam mainly mainly requires the knowledge in depth for the individual topics suppose you have around 10 topics in your branch in gate and you have around 16 topics in esc for your esc exam for your branch in esc exam you have 16 subjects so just for example if you are having 10 subjects to prepare just for example i'm saying some branches are having 12 subjects some branches are having 14 subjects some branches are having 15 16 subjects in gate hai na but first of all let me decide let me discuss if you are having 10 subjects in gate exam and you are having 16 subjects in esc exam so more over there is one thing to crack there is more over one thing that you have to crack that these 16 subjects are not separate they are 10 plus 6 they are 10 plus 6 subjects which means that if you are preparing for these if you are preparing for these 16 subjects you have already you are already preparing these 10 subjects you are already preparing these 10 subjects you only have to cover you only have to cover six additional subjects you only have to cover six additional subjects for esc preparation with whether your branch is civil engineering or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or cs or it or electronics or any of the branch chemical or anything you must know that these 10 subjects you are preparing and in 16 subjects if in esc there are 16 subjects you have to cover only six additional subjects now there are two things if you are preparing for esc 2024 and gate 2024 so for these six subjects you only have to go through you only have to go through pyqs you only have to do pyqs for this six additional subjects and you are preparing these 10 subjects this addition of pyqs previous year questions of this additional subjects will complete your preparation of esc if you want to complete your preparation for of esc i am repeating myself again if you want to complete your preparation for esc and you are mainly focusing esc 2024 so whatever you are preparing for the gate 2024 these 10 subjects just do 
द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिक्स एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट विच आर आस्किंग इन ई एस एग्जाम विच आर कमिंग इन ई एस एग्जाम योर प्रिपेरेशन विल बी डन दैट दैट इज सफिशियंट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एस पेरेंट्स बट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ई एस सी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स विद योर गेट प्रिपेरेशन सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू रीड यू हैव टू रीड दिस सिक्स एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट in all of the our paid courses whether it is traced batch whether it is gate plus ese any type of batch we are covering the additional subjects of ese so whatever you have to do whatever you have to do that is only that is only you have to you have to complete the you have to complete complete preparation of additional topics additional topics If you are preparing for ESC 2025 and 26, you have sufficient time. You have ample time. Just what you have to do, you have to add these six additional subjects, their theories, their numericals, and you are completed with the preparation of ESC. So, my dear friends, there are two things. First of all, gate only covers less subject, but you have to. you have to learn in depth you have to study in depth you have to know that what is the variation in the questions they can ask for suppose in 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 gate exam 2021 one question has come from the from the equation just for example from the equation a is equal to b into c in the next year it will not ask what is a b and c given it will ask what is b it will give c and a in the question it will ask that you have to calculate b so there is a variation of asking in the gate exam there should be the conceptualization of the concept there should be changing of the assumptions in the gate exam so gate exam does the change of assumption next year it will do the change of concept next year and you have to know what is the solution so there is a there is a changing of concept changing of uh, variation of uh, uh, theories variation of numericals which are asked in the gate exam so in these 10 subjects you have to study deep if you want to clear gate but if you are also covering these six subjects in 16 subjects what you are doing you are covering these six subjects but if you are also covering these six subjects you are prepared for ese my dear friends so in a short in a short statement i will say that if you are preparing for gate there are less number of subjects you have to cover and if you want to add the esc preparation there are there are only 3 to 4 or maximum 6 subjects you have to add for the preparation and you are you are completed for the esc preparation now the second thing is that now the second thing is that that how can we how can we prepare for esc with gate esc with gate without hampering without hampering the gate preparation how we can prepare for esc exam with gate exam preparation without hampering our gate preparation so esc with gate means esc with gate means you only have to add three things you only have to add three things first of all esc prelims exam and gate prelims exam are occurring are happening at the nearby interval the time difference between the gate exam and the esc prelims exam is not much far uh, you have your gate exam in the first and second week of february and normally in the third week of or mid of the february you have esc prelims exam so what you have to do first of all first of all you have to do the gate previous year questions gate previous year questions plus esc objective previous year questions in combination with your chapter esc objective pyqs in combination of the chapter suppose you are studying any subject chapter number 1 after studying chapter number 1 after doing the dpps after doing the solutions you have to do the gate previous year question and esc objective previous year question for that chapter complete the chapter and after that whenever you are you have completed the chapter you have completed the subject after every chapter you have done gate pyqs you have done esc pyqs what you have to do you have to just solve then esc esc subjective paper pyqs esc subjective pyqs esc subjective pyqs of that subject so start from the suppose any subject has 10 chapters start from first chapter do gate pyqs esc pyqs chapter 1 completed then chapter number 2 complete that chapter complete the theory complete the numerical complete the dpps then do gate pyqs esc objective pyqs so complete the whole subject all the chapters their gate pyqs esc objective pyqs now start from chapter number 1 again 
using these using solving these ESC subjective PYQs. So what will happen? You will get the revision of your gate preparation. Your gate preparation will be revised because whenever you are doing subjective questions, obviously there is a edge that you will get extra things. You will get extra knowledge. Your concept will be clarified. So what you have to do? You don't do the revision. Skip the revision part just after completing the subject, just after completing the PYQs, start ESC subject to PYQs of that subject. So, what will happen? Your revision will be there, your ESC preparation will be completed, and you will not forget the tough concepts. Your concept will be also co concreted in your mind. So, do this thing first complete the subject, do all the objective questions of gate and ESC, and after completing the subject, start all the subjective previous year questions of ESC then it will benefit you three times. First, your ESC preparation will be completed with gate. Second, your all the concept, detailed concept will be clarified, concreted in your mind. And third thing that you will have the ability to do subjective questions. So this session was helpful. I think it was helpful for you to prepare, how to prepare for ESC exam with your running grade preparation. And this will also, this, this will not also uh, complete your syllabus, complete your concepts, concrete your concept and your your grade preparation will not be hampered. If you are doing ESC subjective questions after completing the subject, then you can decide depending upon whatever time you have. But don't do this thing if you are preparing for 2024. Don't do this because you don't have ample time, sufficient time. Do this if you are preparing for GATE and ESC 2025 and 26. If you are preparing for only for 2024, what you have to do, whatever the additional subjects are asking in the ESC exam, just do the previous year questions of that. Just complete previous year questions. If you have any doubt, ask your concerned faculty. Like if you want to ask anything from strength of materials, fluid mechanics, geotechnical engineering or or RCC, open channel flow, hydraulic machines, like these type of subjects. Mainly if we are saying that fluid mechanics, RCC, open channel flow and hydraulic machines. In these four subjects, mainly if you want to ask, you can ask me in my telegram group. You are asking the, you are solving the PYQs and you want to ask anything, you can ask in my telegram group. My telegram group, my telegram group is Shobhis Sir PW. Just you have to search at the top of, just you have to search at the top of telegram. There is a search option at the top of telegram app. Search in the name. Sobit Sir PW. Search the name Sobit Sir PW. You will get my group and you can join this group. You can easily join this group. And if there is any doubt regarding the preparation of ESC or in the PYQs of ESC or anything related to that, you can directly contact me and you can directly ask your doubts. So I think this session was helpful for your preparation. You will apply these recommended things in your preparation and definitely you will succeed in your exam. There is a saying, I will complete my session with, by saying only two to three words. I will complete my session by saying only two to three, three words that success is not that thing which you will get in one day. Success is not that thing which you will get in one day, but definitely you will get one day. But definitely you will get one day. You will not get success in one day, but definitely you will get one day. So with this, I am ending the session. And for any query, you can connect with me on Telegram. Shobit Sir PW. Shobit has two H. And you can type in a small letters, capital letters, whatever letters you will type. You have to type Shobit Sir PW in Telegram and you can connect with me in my group. So bye bye everyone. Take care. Uh, take care of your health a lot. We will meet in the next session. Jai Hind.